Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. Today I've got a really good video for you, but before we get started, I wanna to talk to you about Skillshare. If you didn't know what Skillshare was, it's an online community of like thousands of classes, over 150 countries. They come together for inspiration and take the next step in their creative journey. Sounds cheesy but it's awesome. So I was interested in joining Skillshare because I am always learning. I always wanna learn new things. I wanna be good at something or I wanna take my, what I already know, to the next level and Skillshare is good for that. A lot of you have asked me how to do a channel, how do I edit, what do I use to film and all those types of things. And you know what, I'll help you out to a degree, but if you really wanna learn how to edit or do something super creative, Skillshare is absolutely perfect for you. So let's take for example here, I typed in video editing. And so they got a Skillshare course, video editing with Adobe Premiere Pro, which is the program that I use, a lot of people use. As you can see quickly here, it's a guy teaching you how to use Premiere and the, the, from the beginnings and the basics. And the coolest thing is, is on the right side here, it teaches you right minute by minute what you're gonna learn. Class introduction, digital video, the workspace, organize your clips, basic editing, the toolbox, video effects, transitions. It is perfect. And for all the types of videos that you see that we cover on here on YouTube, this will basically cover it all. So Skillshare comes covers just that one little thing. And I think that's amazing. And nothing comes close to Skillshare. And you guys, you know that I will not rep companies that I don't absolutely believe in myself or use myself. Start that YouTube channel, don't use your kids, but start that YouTube channel you always wanted to start. You're interested in making a career change, you wanna level up your skills in your current role, Skillshare is a great resource for just that. It's not just coding, it's not just editing, it's not just graphic design, it's literally everything. Pretty sure they could teach you how to build a spaceship and go to Mars before Elon gets there. Maybe, I don't know. And because they're sponsoring this video and I think they're awesome and I think you should try it, first thousand people to use this link right here, okay? You're gonna get one month free. You get a one month free trial of Skillshare, okay? So make sure you use this link when you do, when you check out. I mean, this is the wave of the future for creatives and curious minds alike. That's why I like this. It's very, very driven to my type of brain. I'm really excited about this. I'm gonna dive into this and do so many courses. I've always wanted to learn to code, there's cooking, there's everything. Mm, I'm excited. And thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Let's get to it. Holy Spirit, activate. Holy Spirit, activate. Holy Spirit, activate. 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 Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name is Josh. Thank you for joining me today. We've got an extra special crazy video going on. B Dong, also known as Brittany Dawn, also known as really that much self tanner, is being sued by the state of Texas. It is a crazy story. We've covered it before. It's getting nuts. Let's get to it. So if you don't know who Brittany Dawn is, head back and watch my video before. Brittany Dawn is a fitness fluencer who uh, had her husband shoot their dog in the street. Crazy. Just crazy. And still nobody's come forward with the truth. But basically the dog got hit by a car, so she says, allegedly, and her husband had to go out and shoot this dog in the street. And that's what drew me to her. That was what brought my attention to Brittany Dawn. Now, I have been following her over the time. I follow Brittany Dawn Snark on Reddit. It is a really, man, if you guys, the Snark forums on Reddit are excellent, okay? They're really good. They compile everything into a nice, neat little file. It's great. But basically, if you want to know what's going on, let's read a couple of articles um, from the Dallas Morning News here. Let's read this quickly together. Dallas Fort Worth influencer Brittany Dawn faces deceptive trade practices lawsuit from Texas Attorney General. She's being sued by the Attorney General, which is, I don't, that's a dude, I think. The state of Texas is suing Dallas Fort Worth social media influencer Brittany Dawn Davis over a fitness plan scheme it claims violated consumer protection laws and misled followers with eating disorders who bought into it. Look, so many influencers say so many stupid things and they don't think that they can be held accountable for it. But what I think is happening here is the start of something like that. Now, Margaret and I have had this thing and just been too lazy and too busy to get it going. But Margaret has been, Margaret has teamed up with me, one of my mods, and we're going to, we're going to release the video of all the claims that people like Tara Henderson, Aaron Williams, um, Tiny Tiffany Beast, and all those people, the claims of the oils. And we're talking medical claims like can cure diabetes and shit. So I think that is kind of next. But for now, this is a great start. An influencer shilling a product by faking it. 
This is another reason I do what I do on here, everybody. That's why I cover influencers too. They fake this shit and make money by faking it, which to me means that's almost on a level of fraud. At least it's fakery. And they use this perfect world and body and everything that they create to sell to you. And it's fake. You'll never achieve what they have because what they have is fake. Agreed? Okay. That's another reason why I cover this stuff. Okay. The Attorney General's office is seeking between 250000 and $1 million in penalties and court fees, according to a lawsuit filed February 1st in Dallas County Court. Now, likely, they're not going to go for the million, but she'll be sued for lots, I think, minimum $250,000. So that's a lot of money, and she doesn't have it because she's a broke-ass influencer. They all spend their money on dumb things. Davis's business, Brittany Dawn Fitness LLC, sold online fitness packages that cost as much as $300 to thousands of consumers beginning in 2014. The plans were not individualized as promised, and Davis failed to provide the promised coaching and check-ins, according to the lawsuit. Does this sound like somebody else? Look, I know I'm not going to do a Bits of Bish video ever again, like not on snarking levels anyway, but this sounds very, very similar to what she did. She offered a course for something like $99, and it was meant to help people. I mean, she might have been a little more careful, saying, you only have access to these videos I created. Maybe you'll get some one-on-one. -on -one. But from the people I spoke to, they did not get what they were promised. This type of lawsuit could extend to somebody like Bits of Brie. Maybe that's why she moved to Hawaii? I don't know. Time will tell. The Dallas Morning News is unable to reach Davis for comment, obviously, because she's a Christian and that's the devil attacking her. <laughs> the devil is coming after my fitness. No. Again, when Christians say this, and I covered this video about what's her name, Melina, about how she can't be held accountable because God doesn't want her to talk about the things to be held accountable yet, because that's the devil attacking her. Don't believe this garbage, and we're going to go through it today. This is a long video, everybody, so buckle up. Customers of Davis's fitness plans sought refunds from her when she did not make good on her business promises, but many were ignored and had their social media comments deleted. Davis posted a video on February 2019 where she apologized, but also claimed customers harassed and threatened her. The day after the news published a report about the video and upset customers, Davis appeared on ABC's Good Morning America. In the, the, in the appearance, Davis told viewers she was done hiding. Okay and wanted to refund clients who alleged she had scammed them with false advertising and diet plans. Women who bought the personal training service from Davis claimed she had been accepting clients' money for years with little to no communication afterwards. Guys, you don't do anything. You're an influencer. If you're going to do this as a business venture, do it. The, the influencer culture has allowed these people to be so lazy and get money for literally doing nothing. So when they say they work hard, it's bullshit. They get money for doing nothing. I'm telling you, it's nothing just living their normal life and filming it and taking pictures. And so when they get a bunch of money, they actually don't feel like they need to do anything once they get it. Or they forget that they got it because they have so much of it. It's crazy. And that's what happens. When Davis responded to clients, she offered only partial refunds. According to the Attorney General lawsuit, in 2019, Davis also took down her fitness website, Beat On Fit, and the website is, the website is active today. It's gone now. Part of Davis's fitness plan include membership on a Facebook group, group called Team Brittany Dawn. Ew in which customers quickly put together that the plans they were receiving were not individualized as advertised. So basically she said, I'm going to, you, you pay me three hundred bucks. I'm going to walk you guys through an individual individualized fitness plan, which is a lot. If you're dealing with thousands of people, she likely bit, bit off more than she could chew. And then she just thought it would go away because she's stupid. These people live in bubbles. Davis positioned herself as having overcome eating disorders with nutrition and exercise, leading her clients to believe she could help them as well. But Davis provided weight loss plans to clients needing weight gain plans, according to the suit. So it was just, she thought it was one size fits all. And B. Don is, as far as we are, I think, aware in her social media, she does struggle with eating disorders. She's anorexic. Like she's very, very ultra thin, very unhealthy. The state also alleges that Davis unlawfully charged shipping fees for goods transmitted via email. Okay. That's sketch. The attorney general's office began receiving complaints about Davis in March 2019. So this is how long it takes to get a lawsuit going. It's four years later. So don't give up. Three. I, I can't math. Three years later. Don't give up on things like this, guys. Since then, Davis has scrubbed her YouTube channel, The Apology, and other videos posted around the time of Good Morning America's appearance. Dang it. I wanted to see that. Using a last name from a previous marriage, Davis also applied for and received a forgivable paycheck protection program loan of $20,800. So she got a PPP loan. Got, here it is, $20,000 loan, but was forgiven $21,000. Okay. That's really weird that she was forgiving, forgiven a thousand more than she gave, since she got. 
Okay. Her largest following is on TikTok, where she amassed 946,000 followers on an account where she posts inspirational lifestyle and Christian garbage. I mean, content. Davis began sharing Christian content late in 2019 in the account She Lives Freed on Instagram. Later, moved from Dallas-Fort Worth, explaining the videos that Dallas was too materialistic and she wanted to be closer to the family. Too materialistic. Have you seen a picture of Brittany Dawn? Okay there, self tanner. In 2021, Davis started hosting She Lives Freed retreats in several cities. And we're going to talk about this. In April, she will host a one-day retreat in Fort Worth as charging $125 for a ticket to that event. Not including the cost of boarding. This is a shill. This is a grift. It's a Christian grift. This happens a lot. And it's garbage. Because she has no business doing these things. She's not accredited. She's not a pastor. She's not clergy. She's nothing. She's a person. And she's baptizing people. Since Davis Fitness Business began gaining national attention, an online community has emerged on Reddit to track her activity as an influencer. It's called Brittany Dawn Snark. They call her B Dawn. <laughs> her more recent videos have tapped into popular QAnon talking points, conspiracy theories in general, like the debunk theory that furniture company Wayfair is trafficking children. She fell into that. Okay. She's being sued for thousands upon thousands of dollars for, for taking money from people and, and just swindling them, grifting it. Just crazy. It's fraud. And sh she should be going to jail, not just being fine money. This should, this sh they should make an example of Brittany Dawn for influencers to do this because this happens. Ace family's done it multiple times. Bits of Bish has done it multiple times. I think she's got a new one coming up. They all do this grift. Okay. They take their platform and they sell you something garbage. I think Tara Henderson sells ch cheap, shitty goods from overseas. I'm pretty sure uh, the Ingham's sell blankets they get from AliExpress at like 70% markup. It's not illegal to do that. They're using the platform to sell you goods from China. Again, nothing wrong with it. It's not illegal, but you got to be aware that you're buying garbage that you can just get yourself from AliExpress. All right, so here's the timeline I want I, I tapped into on Reddit, okay? It's from a person. I knew Brittany personally, and here's my T slash timeline. I knew B, I knew B Dong from the start of her selling her online plans. And also, this is a long read, so apologies. December 2013, building a website to start her online fitness business. January 2014, officially started selling online programs. I knew from then that they were BS because she gave me a discount code on one as she was just starting and my friend with a much different body type bought one too and we got identical plans. But we were just like, whatever, it was only 50 bucks. We know not to buy another one and we didn't pursue it. Also, this is why I rolled my eyes at her stating that she shared with good intentions and it got out of control. So this is what she's saying. Brittany Dawn's like, I had good intentions to help people. It just too many people happened, blah, blah, blah. But she still took their money. What she could have done was shut the program down, helped though she could have helped, then launched another program maybe with other influencers. But no, she took their money instead and then just got overwhelmed, which you can't do, everybody. That's stealing. So 2014, her and Zach fight for a lot of her 2014. This is her boyfriend. She cheats on him. Source, Brittany would, would text my friend for advice on what to do. 2015, 2014-15, uh, they get back together and they get engaged. 2015, I think this is the year they got married. I can't remember the YouTuber, but this is the start of her getting called out in 2015. I just don't think the woman had enough following to gain traction. So this is when she started getting channels like mine covering her. 2016, 2017, can't remember, but it's one of these years they got divorced. 2018, she goes through tons of relationship and dogs. This is the thing. She goes through dogs. This is the thing that pisses me off about people who make bad decisions. They likely go through animals like crazy, like giving up returning them, giving them away, taking more. They can't, they can't take responsibility. They make bad choices. They're, 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 they just aren't good at it. And she has gone through docs and had her husband shoot one in the street is constantly deleting and blocking negative comments. And more people are getting upset. This is 2018. Her sister and mom help her in this process by helping her delete. And also by creating burner accounts to leave positive reviews source. She admitted this to my friend and Zach blasted her for this a bit on his Twitter. So she admits it. This person has receipts. Beginning of 2019, she finally can't control the amount of people she scammed and keep them under the wraps. A private Facebook page is created that quickly amasses more than 4,000 members, all with stories of being scammed. 4,000 people were scammed. Plus, because remember, there's likely people who don't want to, who are ashamed of being scammed by this Skeletor. Okay, so there's probably more than 4,000. That's incredible. So at minimum, at $50 and likely more like $300, that's a lot of money she scammed out of people. That's 150 times 300 times 4,000. That is $600,000. Okay. I, you know, and it's probably likely more. Okay. 
Wow. 2019, the story makes it to local news in North Texas and gets picked up nationally. That's what we saw there. Rest of 2019, still tries to post some fitness-related content, but finally realizes she's not going to be accepted by that community again and starts her shift to Jesus content. Also, a few more relationships and dogs. I haven't kept track of all these in detail because just so she switches over to the grift of Christianity, likely because she's been called out for her fraud and her absolute just disgusting behavior. And a lot of people will do this. They pivot to Jesus because Christians are forgiving. 2020, her full shift to Jesus and obsession with sex trafficking has truly started. No doubt from Mercy Culture. It's that sketchy organization Jordan and her are part of now. I don't know what that is. I guess I'll look into it. So 2021, SLF retreats begin. She no longer is plant-based and has started eating meat, has gone full Trump, and is a COVID conspiracy theorist. Okay, so I wanted to show you this video on her story. This is what she's doing at these retreats, everybody. She's baptizing people in bathtubs in a hotel room. These women who are taking part of this, stop it. Stop it. She's not clergy. She's not accredited. She didn't go to school for this. I'm not saying you have to. I'm sort of saying you should know the Bible, though. Why are you following an influencer with so much fake tan it washes off in the bathtub? Why are you following an influencer who scammed people? Why are you following an influencer about Jesus who doesn't know anything about this? It's scary the community that this type of stuff builds. And it's cr it's just unbelievable that people fall for this. Baptizing someone in a bathtub. She has no spirit she has no spiritual okay. She has no spiritual right to do this. This is spiritual abuse. This is like spiritual fraud as far as I'm concerned. Look, if you're being baptized and you are truly in your heart being baptized in the name of Jesus. Not like it matters anyway, because baptism doesn't hinge on your salvation whatsoever. But what she's doing here is grifting these people for money and faking this. This is all fake. And it's really scary to those people who take, take their faith seriously. So what she does is she rents hotels, like a space. I don't know if she, sell, she sells clothes. And she does a speaking about women's empowerment. How did you like this weekend? Absolutely loved it. So this is my second time here. Look at... You can't even see a poor. There's no pores. Stop this, people. Anyway, so I just wanted to show you that because that is what the grift that she switched over to. So she started the one grift with fitness. Now she's grifting Christians out of their money. Probably people who want that, but don't realize that she's fake. Okay? She should be a charge for this too. I like, But I don't know if you can do that. It's a cult. It's very cultish. Okay. Wanted to point that out, that as a ex-pastor, someone who grew up in the church, what she's doing is unheard of and it's bullshit. Most churches would never, ever, ever co-sign on something like that. Jesus doesn't co-sign on that. He loves you, but he thinks you're being stupid and dumb and stop. Okay. 2021 exploits James, a homeless man her dear church friend Cruz takes a selfie with, but doesn't offer help in the spot. And then her followers are like, how do we help James? And then Cruz, Jordan, Brittany drive around DFW looking for him because they only thought to help him when they realized it could be exploited. And they began a GoFundMe, which Jordan had set up because Brittany is banned from the site. Wonder why? They raised 20000 and refused to say how the money is being used. What? I sort of knew about that. I hope there's some evidence of that. And anybody who's on B-Don's, <laughs> Brittany Don's snark, who has all the receipts of that, please let me know. I will use my platform and I will call out that. That is atrocious. That's like, damn, man. It's like LeBrant shit going on. They took $20,000 from a homeless person or won't tell us what they did with it. That's okay. Talk about being Christian. Again, churches and people who represent Christ, if they cannot be forthcoming with what they're doing with the money they say they raised in Jesus' name, they should be canceled. Churches who have NDAs, churches who have secrets, churches are supposed to be very transparent because you know why? Because they represent Christ. Christ doesn't like secrets. That's a lie. Those are lies. I don't know. I'm like, I, I can't believe I have to say that. Okay. That's, I'm doing a specific video just on that story. 2021 drastic drop in family sister content. Okay. Mary's Jordan murders Brody, the dog. That's what I covered. 
So I'm fuzzy on Zach marriage divorce years. I know they were on and off since they were like 14 classic young couple that stayed together for dumb reasons as they clearly shouldn't have been together. As they got older, they were codependent. They fought all the time and went through several periods of breakup, but then eventually got back together. Toxic AF. That sounds like a lot of people. Also, her rise to influencer was that she just truly lucked out at the moment she joined Instagram. This is true. Family vloggers are the same. None of their content is good. It's all bad. None, it's, none of it's good. They just got on at the right time and they looked the part. None of these people are skills with a Z. Okay, none. She also blocked. She also got blocked from gyms in North Texas because she didn't want to pay the rates for being a PT. So instead, she go to gyms and pretend she was working out with a friend, but really she was training clients in each gym. Figured it out super quickly. She had a difficult time finding a gym. So this girl has been ripping people off for her whole life. And now she's grifting Christians. This should piss you guys off. This should make you super angry, especially if you're a Christian. So gyms kicked her out because they saw that she was going with a friend and training them and getting paid. You're not allowed to do that at private gyms. We're from a small town in far, far North Texas, almost Oklahoma. I've seen some Redditors think she's from DFW or other suburb, but she's not. Hope that helps. Anyone who is new can't figure out their timeline since she lies constantly in afterthought. She's never been accredited in anything. She has no degree, no certificate. She lied about having PT credentials, and even, and a, even actual PTs reached out to the governing body she claimed to have qualifications from, and they have no record of her. Here's Oh my gosh, this just gets, keeps getting deeper. This gets deeper. So... So here are some comments left on her Instagram. People are just taking the screenshots, but you're going to need Jesus all the way to the courthouse too. <laughs> Here's your sign. And then the Holy Spirit, activate, activate, activate. Yeah, I saw it. Here's the thing about these people who, who, who represent Jesus. They think, they honestly believe that God will protect them from their sins. Like they think, I didn't do anything that bad. I think I'm a Christian, so I should be. They, they, <laughs> this is, I'm just looking at this picture of her eyelash. <laughs> um, they, no, you are going to be judged on earth for the things you do here. Well, can you be forgiven by Christ for, yeah, for anything? It doesn't matter what, yes, in the end, you could be. But you definitely have to be real. And she's just grifting. She just found another way to make money. Go get a real job, Brittany Dawn. She's, this one is going to end up in jail. Mark my words, we'll end up in prison for fraud eventually. So if you don't see what a grift is, a grift is like taking something and turning into making money. Like you take a social stance, right? A grift is someone who takes a religious, like Joel Osteen is a, is a religious grifter. He makes two, hundreds of millions of dollars grifting for the Lord at his giant church. These guys have private planes. Platform like that's not supposed to be making you money. Does that make sense? I probably didn't make it. I probably, let's look up the definition of grift. <laughs> Money made dishonestly as in a swindle, a swindler, confidence game and a confidence gamer swindle. So it's, yeah, it's illegal. It's you're swindling people from their hard earned money, like bits of bish, like ace family, like beat on, like all these people, they will grift you like people like again, Tiffany, Tiffany Beeston, Tara Henderson, Aaron Williams, all those people are shilling oils. That's a grift. Okay. They are shilling people of their money. Uh, lipstick mama, uh, Priscilla Moss. Uh, she does that thing, the same grift, selling makeup downline. That is a grift, guys. That is swindling people of their money because it has a almost 0 0.0001 rate of success. Okay, cool. All right. Defendant Brittany Don Davis, BDD, BDong, <laughs> here to in there for art now known as BDong. Public interest plaintiff, the state of Texas has reason to believe that defendants have engaged in unlawful acts or practices set forth below, set forth below and the defense have caused adverse effects to the lawful conduct of trade and commerce in the state. The Consumer Protection Division of the Office of the Attorney General of Texas therefore believes and is the opinion that these proceedings are in the public interest. Again, you're not going to see a Texas AG bring something like this. They're not going to waste their time. This is a three year case they've been building on an influencer. I think they're trying to make an example and I like it. Defendants also failed to provide the adjustment to macronutrient promised for the duration. So basically they're just saying they didn't do anything that they promised. They took their money, texted Yas Queen, and then rolled on to Target, whatever they did for their vlogs. Misled, here it is. This is a pretty dangerous one right here. Misled consumers with eating disorders. Defendant Davis posted videos on YouTube explaining that she overcame her eating disorder through exercise and healthy eating. In the same social media post, she then offered links to her fitness and nutrition plans. Consumers inferred from the defendant's video and links from a website that she had special training to address eating disorders. One consumer noted that the main reason I chose her out of all the coaches out there was specifically that she advertised herself as an eating disorder, as an eating disorder soldier. Ugh. Ew. It was incredibly important to me that the person I chose coach me had an idea what I was like to deal with an eating disorder. Prior to reaching out to her for guidance, I had battled with anorexia. At my worst, I was below 80 pounds. Oh my gosh. 
which reminds me, we definitely have to cover that one YouTuber that's like 20 pounds. We got to cover that eventually. Miss Davis denies that she accepted consumers with eating disorders. However, consumer documents tell a different story. Those are called receipts. Another consumer wrote, when I filled out your new client questionnaire, I clearly stated that I was currently suffering from restrictive eating disorder and looking to increase my calorie intake. The nutrition plan she received from defendants had a calorie intake significantly lower than what the consumer who needed to gain weight had reported. So great. Plaintiff further requests that this court award money damages and restitution of monies paid by consumers. So I was trying to get the people paid back. Plaintiff further requests that defendants be ordered to pay the state of Texas. I want to also let you guys know this opens her up to many civil lawsuits, which is going to be great. She needs to be bankrupted. People who do this, who grift, who take people from, take money from people. Again, bits of brief. You guys were wondering why I was so harsh on her. She did this. Anybody shilling oils or cleaning products that don't work. That's a grift. You are defrauding people. These people need to be sued. She's going to be opened up now to civil lawsuits galore, and thank God. Civil penalties up to $10,000 per violation for each and every violation. Oh my gosh. Civil penalties up to $250,000 when the act or practice that acquired or deprived money or other property from consumers who are 65 years or older. Oh man, she took money from old people? Pre-judgment, post-judgment, interest, and all awards, restitution, damages, civil penalties. This is a big deal. So that's what's going on. Basically, we know what happened. The grift is in. She's the gig is the jig is up. And now she's got to I don't know if she's got hope she's got money saved up. But of her, if someone has her apology video, please send it to me. I'm going to make a post on Brittany John Snark. <laughs> so I want to point out this meme. This is hilarious. This is me trying to explain to my wife the things I'm talking about on YouTube. Somebody asks is my wife. Watch this. Is she interested in some of the stories? Certain ones. But no, generally, I tell her when something crazy goes on. She's like, really? Wow. She's not listening, but she loves me. And so she listens, but this is it. Me explaining every detail of all these family vloggers to my wife, my wife. Quickly, here's the article. I'm done hiding. Texas fitness influencer Brittany Don suspends personal coaching. His client waits for refunds. Again, and even at this apology, we now know that she only gave partial refunds because she likely is broke, everybody. These people aren't good with money. They buy tons and tons of things. They live like rock stars because that's the lifestyle they need to lead. They go on vacations. They buy expensive bags and houses and cars and trucks and all this crap they don't need. And in the end, they have nothing. Please tell me she doesn't have kids or isn't going to. Dallas area lifestyle, blah, blah, blah. Day after Dallas Morning News reported on growing social media backlash, she appeared Wednesday morning at ABC's Good Morning America. Later spoke on the phone with the news. I'm hiding. Texas I've started the process of making things good with the help of strong-minded business advisors, lawyers. <laughs> Don said in a video post on Instagram Tuesday night after JMA taping, there are no longer any NDAs, no blocking, deleting comments, nothing of that nature. Okay, Brittany Don, you sure? So if we go to her Instagram, I'm blocked. Okay, let's switch the old account over. Oh, here we go. Real Brittany Don, I am blocked. <laughs> okay, so real Brittany Don here. Digital creator, Jesus seeker, kingdom chaser, wifey and founder of She Lives Free, letting God turn my mess into message. No, your message is garbage. So let's say she's got 462,000 followers. And you see down here, comments on this post have been limited. So there's no more blocking, everybody. She only allows people to comment who follow her, but she probably likes to lose his followers because she blocks people that leave negative comments. She needs to chill. Okay. Does she make up her arms? Relax. You're allowed to have pores, people. Please. Please have pores. So she's got a pretty big following. She's blue check marked. That's going to be gone. And I don't know how she's staying afloat except for the grift of the retreats, these SLF retreats. Oh my God, the eyebrow, eyelash. Look at the eyelashes on this lady. Hi, hi, Bri. Hey. Ew. If you go, if you, if you go to, look, if you're silly enough to go to one of these dumbass retreats, after knowing what we know now, not saying before, you deserve to lose your money. That's what I'm going to say. I know that sounds rude, and this is stupid of them to be dumb. Hi. Hey! All these people who are there, you should probably run away from everything that's Brittany Dawn. All right? Because you're going to go down with her. If you're grifting, if other people in this ministry are helping her, and she gets charged with so will you. So you might want to exit quick but something tells me it's her and her husband just doing the grift so where do we go from here well we're not going to stop covering Brittany dawn i'm going to dive deep into her content we're going to 
snark because that's what we do. We snark to bring awareness. I'm sure she's got some pretty snarkable material um, and how bad she is. And I want to tear her theological sh- to shreds because I like doing that because I like calling out fake theologians who think they know sh- by reading a scripture and then making a grift of it, and making money off of it. If you guys don't understand how disgusting it is what she's doing, instead of getting a real job, she opens her Bible, finds a scripture and makes a post about it and then does retreats where she charges $125 a ticket. Okay. To go and baptizes willing idiots in bathtubs. The grift's got to stop. She's making Christianity that already looks like crap. She's making it worse. Churches all over the world right now are making it worse. We're going to do a deep dive in a hill song. What's going on over there? And it's a big deal. What's going on a hill song. So this kind of encompasses everything. Somebody who killed their dog because they didn't have to. Someone who's a terrible influencer and makes people feel bad about themselves, a grifter, a thief, somebody who's stolen things, who makes garbage content, and who is basically just does not deserve this platform because she just uses it to rip people off. So we go from here as we continue to cover this. If someone has the video of her apology, I'm going to tear it to shreds. If you've got videos you think I should cover, I'm all yours. I'm going to be going through her stuff to find it. We cannot let this go. When this thing goes to court, and hopefully it does, let's watch together. But likely they're going to settle. Because how often do these things actually go to court? It's in her best interest to settle. There's too much evidence against her. Um, So we're going to follow that and we're going to keep on this stuff and we're going to follow the fake tan all the way to the sun with this one. Ew. She's just, you know, Mm. people come to her with real issues, especially eating disorders. That's a big deal. And she just, she crapped the bed and she needs to be called out. She needs to be called out. She needs to be held accountable. And that's what we're going to do here in the Dad Challenge podcast. Hmm. Be dong. You dummy. All right. Everybody take a deep breath with me. You're going to need it. I felt really good. Thank you for joining me, being part of this with me. Guys, keep an eye on her with me. Send me all the things because you always do. I love the army of people who just send me tons of stuff. Even if I don't get to it, I still always appreciate you guys put me in your thoughts when you're thinking of somebody who's doing something stupid. I really do. It's actually awesome. and You're amazing. So don't forget how amazing you are and how valuable you are. People need you in their lives. Don't grift anybody. Be good to the people around you. They love you. And you guys are here for a reason because you got good hearts, most of you. But I think, I think you're all awesome. Don't ever forget your value. And I'll see you tomorrow.